it's a very good thing okay <clears throat> we can start our session uh, can you hear me properly is my voice clear is my voice clear or not hello yes okay okay so we are going to start our session today and i welcome you all for this another lecture of uh, evs environmental awareness in last session we guys have gone through a different aspect is all do you remember the last point which we guys have seen what was the last point boys and girls let me know the last point please or else shall i share my ppt i'll share my ppt because you also a little bit confused because you're having so many lectures and uh, you know you might have confused so yesterday we guys have gone for social issues in environment and we guys have discussed so many aspects and i hope you guys have understood whatever i told you in last two three lectures we were discussing about social issues in environment and we were talking about rainwater harvesting we have done then watershed management also we have done then resettlement and uh, rehabilitation also we have done displacement due to dam also we have done displacement displacement due to mining also we guys have done rehabilitation issues and policies also we guys have done climate change we guys have done warm uh, sorry global warming we have done then elements uh, sorry climate change evidences also we guys have seen and uh, we were about to see green effects greenhouse also we have seen greenhouse effects also we guys have seen there is no you know no problem as such and uh, after that solution i think we were discussing the solutions for um uh, i don't remember where we guys have you know stopped yesterday can you tell me koni tar sangu shakel ke mala apan kude thamlo hote the aathavte the bola awaj yete ka maza yes so the slide was uh, the oceans are affected by global warming sir thi slide hoti ki hoti ka nahi ki nahi नहीं नहीं स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर से and uh, from this in the session we are going to talk about the effects uh, of global warming and we are going to understand how global warming is affecting on different parts of the world and how it is creating sort of impact on the environment that also we are going to discuss so here we are going to see all these points one by one global warming is affecting many parts of the world as we know that it is not not a single corner of the world is you know remaining every corner of the world is affected by the global warming as we know that global warming is a uh, no a uh, worldwide issue now people are thinking about even nations are also thinking about all those things so this is the fact and uh, this is what uh, uh, we guys have made like that uh, segment made like that global warming is affecting many parts of the world and uh, not a single corner of the world is you know an exception for this kind of global warming even we guys are also uh, getting some uh, we guys are also suffering from the 
uh, adverse effect of global warming actually global warming is having adverse effects only there are not uh, you know positive effects as such as i given one example about my last journey that was on 4th december from baramati to pune uh, that but then that day i was traveling to pune in the night at that was not midnight as such it was only 9:30 so when i passed karawagos i got i started getting fog and that was huge fog and i was unable to drive the car so that was the problem and these are the problems which are happening because of the global warming climate is totally changed even the you know seasons we don't have we can observe we can experience any season in any you know or uh, anything in any season so this is the fact and why it is happening the main reason behind thing is what global warming and the global warming is also increasing day by day and this is what i told you to watch one movie i hope you guys have gone through that movie or you guys have watched that movie name of the movie is what a day after tomorrow it's a english movie if you want to watch that you can if you are not seen so far if you are not watched so far you can watch that movie in that movie they have shown how the global warming is affecting on the each and every corner of the world and uh, because of this global warming the entire you know ice is melting and because of the ice melting there is a flood situation and the entire world is going into the water only that kind of uh, this one is a sort of theme of this movie uh, you go and see i'm not going to disclose everything because you will lose the interest of uh, watching the movie but the movie is very interesting and uh, the main uh, motive or the object behind making that movie was to make people aware about global warming and uh, they want to show how the global warming is you know <clears throat> what do we call it dangerous so if possible if you get a chance not now but if you get a chance to watch this movie in future also after your entire exams and sorry after your this particular schedule you can also watch but watch at once this is my suggestion then global warming makes the sea rise as we know that sea rise is going to increase or the sea level is rising sea level is increasing and because of this so many adverse effects are there and when the sea rises the water covers many low land uh, islands this is a big problem for many <coughs> the plants animals and people of islands i think we have seen this one last yesterday i think we have seen this one yesterday if i'm not wrong so without wasting the time for this particular slide i'm going to show you the next slide here we stopped remember and now now i got it here we guys have stopped and uh, whatever pre previous slide we guys have seen that we have done that we had you know completed and i was about to start about this particular slide but uh, you know suddenly uh, time over and uh, i stopped that so here we are going to see uh, here from this particular slide we are going to start for today's session the oceans are affected by global warming in other ways as well so oceans or the seas are also affected by global warming in different ways so what are those other ways those also they have given many things that happening to the ocean are linked to global warming one thing that is happening in warm water caused from global warming is hammering and killing algal in the ocean uh, algae in the ocean what does it mean you know uh, because of this global warming the water of ocean is getting warm or warmer and when the water of ocean gets warmer then it will be will not be a good for the you know uh, algae means the you know living things or the animal small things like fish small small trees are also there those who can uh, grow in the ocean water so those are uh, affecting and they are having the problem so this one is this way also ocean is also going to affect not only sea rise or sea level is rising other things are also happening with the uh, ocean or the sea this is the fact it is killing algae but it is also destroying many huge forests at the same time it is not only killing dej at the same time it is also destroying many or huge forests around uh, sea or oceans then global warming is also causing many more fires that wipe out whole forests this happens because global warming can make the earth very hot because of the global warming earth is also getting hot and hotter 
and uh, this is what we can say nowadays uh, we don't have any season as such and uh, we feel huge humidity because of the global warming in forest some plants and trees leaves can be so dry and they and uh, dry that they catch on fire so see uh, because of this kind of global warming uh, even in forest also in the area of forest even the leaves or leaf of the plants or trees they are getting very dry and when plants or, or the leaves you know <clears throat> get dry that will be the cause of fire in the forest so there are n number of reasons which are happening in our day to day life because of the global warming we are not realizing uh, those uh, things in our day to day life because directly or indirectly we are not that much aware with the adverse effect of global warming but uh, the scientists they have you know already warned to the entire world if we keep increasing the global warming definitely it will be it will affect on our day to day life also now no doubt it has been already affected we are facing some issues we are also experiencing and observing certain issues which are happened because of the global warming so these are the effects or these are the effects or these are the adverse impacts of global warming on so uh, different uh, you know stakeholders or uh, as different uh, or uh, sorry different aspects that which uh, we have guys have seen here then uh, if you look at this as i told you similar sort of situation that they have shown in the adapter tomorrow if you look at the first picture here we can see the melt um, ice is melting in the uh, ocean or the sea and because of that melted ice water level is increasing that you can see and this kind of situation they have shown in day after tomorrow and if you look at this what is going to happen on uh, the animals those who you know are there in the water now they don't have you know space to live this is what they are trying to live their life or they are trying to save themselves from this kind of uh, global warming even uh, here we have taken some example of dolphins also or fishes also and uh, look at that how it is going to happen and uh, the fourth picture you can see that picture if we keep contributing in global warming one day this kind of situation will be there the entire world will be in the water only and that we can see i suggest you to watch this movie if possible it is available on google so youtube also and uh, if you watch sometimes you will you know get very scared and you will understand what is happening in the world so this is what at least at once or few you know uh, clips of that movie you watch then what are the solutions as i told you you know global warming is very dangerous and global warming is affecting on all of us so what will be the solution no doubt it is there now it, uh, we got we all are experiencing but there is a solution if we find out a good solution for that we can reduce the level of global warming and no doubt there are certain solutions we have so what are the solutions solutions are very simple uh, we should go for renewable energy instead of you know um, going for <coughs> consuming natural resources we should go for renewable energy then we should go for biofuels instead of going for uh, diesel petrol and any other so we should think about biofuels then afforestation uh, as we we all are that we all are going for deforestation so instead of going for deforestation why don't we go for afforestation that is also important one then uh, <clears throat> just a minute okay then reduce the current rate of cfc's use a cfc means what chlorofluorocarbon we should uh, reduce this particular weight uh, rate of chlorofluorocarbon then trap methane for fuel um, instead of going for uh, any other fuel we should go for methane we should trap methane as a fuel then potential of la uh, lg in carbon dioxide uh, as we know that uh, there is a potential of lg in carbon dioxide also or carbon dioxide carbon dioxide utilization then sustainable agriculture as we know that we guys are we guys or we all are preferring non chemical agriculture which is called in marathi shendriya shethi so we should go for that instead of using chemicals in agriculture 
if we go without chemical if we go without fertilizers we use and if we use those fertilizers definitely those are hazardous for our day to day health even and it is also you know contributing something in the global warming so instead of going for fertilizers in the agriculture we should go for compost which is called as sendriya shetty and if we go for that particular sendriya shetty or you know natural way of agriculture then we don't have any problem as such but it will take some time and everybody has to decide this everybody has to contribute not only one or two people has to contribute and if they contribute definitely it will be a part of you know a sort of work but everybody has to go for that and we should start from our own and if we start from our own other will definitely follow us or other, other other will definitely uh, imitate us and this is what we should start from our, our level first and if we do so definitely uh, the problem or the uh, you know seriousness or what do we call it impact of global warming will be definitely reduced so this way we can reduce the impact of global warming as i told you as a part of solution now this one is a acid rain because of global warming on uh, there may be a possibility of having acid rain and how that acid rain happens that i have shown you through this particular picture watch this picture carefully and uh, again go through it and uh, try to understand how it is going to uh, you know affect on our day to day life also so this way this one is a picture of acid rain that you can understand now we are going to talk about something we are going to talk about acid rain what is acid rain and how it is you know going to affect on our day to day life we guys have seen that acid rain acid rain we heard about it but we don't know the concept of acid rain exactly so this is what i'm going to i'm trying to explain this acid rain is a broad term referring to a mixture of wet and dry depo uh, deposition deposited material from the atmosphere containing higher than normal amounts of nitric and sulfuric acid so yeah. see actually this one is a sort of ring no doubt at all it's a ring but here in this kind of rain instead of water or no doubt water is there but instead of uh, water certain or along with water certain nitric and sulfuric acids are or the components of nitric and sulfuric acids are involved and when such kind of uh, mixture or combination is there it becomes dangerous it becomes uh, injurious for the health of human beings on the planet earth and when such kind of rain we experience it is called what acid rain so far we have not seen any sort of acid rain in baramati from so many years and uh, you know sometimes it happens it is like mumbai or in metro cities because there is a huge pollution especially in delhi Uh, the people, the people, those who are residing in Delhi, they experience such kind of rains. And uh, for that, who is responsible? We all are responsible because we have started creating pollutions, and because of such kind of different types of pollutions, including all types of pollutions, uh, it happens. Then acid rain occurs when these gases react in this atmosphere with water, oxygen, and other chemicals to form various ac acidic components. the result is mild solution of sulfuric and nitric acid so see acid rain occurs when these gases react in the atmosphere these kind of gases they get involved into the atmosphere and uh, with the water oxygen and the other chemicals and uh, when it happens the result of that what when these gases get involved into the oxygen of the atmosphere water of the atmosphere and other chemical of the atmosphere then and the when they get uh, when they come together when they get together the result is what we get acidic rain or acid rain when sulfur dioxide and you know, nitrogen oxides are released from the power plants and other sources prevailing windows uh, sorry winds blow these component uh, components across state and national borders sometimes over hundreds of miles ph less than 5.6 so this one is a you know uh, effect or this one is impact of uh, having acid rain 
when we when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are released from the power plants as we have so many power plants in our country and it is those are must no doubt if we do not uh, uh, go for those power plants one day we will not have electricity as such so these power plants are releasing uh, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide and because of that the sulfur or the ph level of the uh, that particular land is you know decreasing or it is getting lesser than the 5.6 if it is lesser than the 5.5 5.6 it is not good as as you know agricultural sciences says that and because of this kind of uh, release of sulfur dioxide and ox nitrogen oxide this is happening so these are the effect, uh, effect or the impact of acid rain now we are going to talk about one more important social issue which is there in the process in the environment and this one is more dangerous and uh, as we know as i told you uh, sunshine is the most important aspect we get vitamin d from sunshine and this is what some people they sit early in the morning to get vitamin d from the sun and this one is a major source of getting vitamin d we all are aware with this but fact is that whatever sun rays we get from the sun especially not in the morning session by the way uh, it's after 12 or after 10th or sorry 11th so we do not uh, sit in sunshine after 12th because it's a very you know uh, hotter or it's very warmer so we avoid to sit in the sun or below the sun or uh, in sunshine after 12th because it is not good to sit so what happens you know sun rays whatever sunshine we get those can be called as what sun rays <coughs> in those sun rays there is there are certain hazardous rays also which can be called as ultraviolet rays which will die that those ultraviolet rays will directly affect on our skin or our health but there is one particular layer which is there in the atmosphere and that particular layer will protect us from that but those uh, uh, hazardous uh, ultraviolet rays and that particular layer is called about ozone layer but nowadays what is happening because of pollution and uh, you know the things we are doing something wrong with the environment the ozone layer is also depleting the ozone layer is also getting weak and weaker and weaker and weaker so why it is happening there are so many reasons why this ozone layer is must as i told you this ozone layer will protect us from those ultraviolet rays from the sun that we get from the sun so see so these are the natural things which are given by the nature and what we are doing we are just destroy destroying the things which we are getting from the nature and if we keep destroying these things one day we will have to suffer from so many things if we get uh, you know uh the ultraviolet rays directly on our skin we may have a skin related diseases in future as i yesterday only i have given one example uh the people those who reside in coastal areas samudra kinare je loko rahatat those who resides in coastal areas they are having more skin related issues or skin related diseases why because at the point of coastal areas or at coastal areas there is very thin layer of ozone there is a very thin ozone layer remember and because of thin ozone layer layer they directly get ultraviolet rays from the sun and definitely when we get this kind of ultraviolet rays from the sun we get affected or we get skin related diseases whereas in our our part of uh, where we stay means for example apart from coastal areas they don't have this kind of problem they do not have you know direct impact of ozone direct impact of you know ultraviolet rays on our health or like that but if we keep destroying to the nature and uh, if that particular layer gets you know weaker and weaker then we will have the same problem that uh, you know cost and the people those who are residing at coastal area that they are facing we may face the same things in future if we keep the same things so we need to make this ozone layer stronger we do not you know make sort of hazard for the nature and if we keep doing so 
one day we will face some skin related disease because of <clears throat> because of weak or thin ozone layer so it is also happening so ozone layer is also important remember ozone layer stops those ultraviolet rays which we get from the sun and that is the role of ozone layer look how the nature is created we never know what sort of nature uh, how the nature has given so many things to us now we are getting how the nature and what nature has given to us and whatever nature has given that is permanent but if we are creating such kind of things or hazardous one day uh, you know the end is not that much long it is very soon or it is very close to us and we are going to leave everything we are going to uh, you know see everything in days to come about our asamantatna एक दिवस जग बोडणार आहे माहिती नाही किती बोडणार आहे पण बोडणार आहे असं म्हणतात ठीक आहे नेक्स्ट वन नॅचरल सनस्क्रीन ओझन लेअर लुक एट लुक एट दिस अल्ट्रावायलेट ए अल्ट्रावायलेट बी अँड हाऊ दे आर गोइंग टू अफेक्ट लुक ऍट द लेअर्स दॅट वी गेट फ्रॉम द सन अँड लुक ऍट द रोल ऑफ ओझन लेअर दॅट दे आर प्लेईंग दॅट पर्टिक्युलर लेअर इज प्लेईंग अँड हाऊ इट कम्स लुक so this is the fact or this one is the uh, role of ozone layer ultraviolet protection by the ozone layer look at this we get ultraviolet rays from the sun and because of that layer of ozone we get lesser impact of ozone that ultraviolet rays on our body and this is what ozone layer is must ozone layer is required and if we keep destroying if we keep depleting that ozone layer what will happen one day the you know live uh, hum it is very difficult for us to live on planet earth for every human beings so this one is a role i hope you guys understood what sort of role ozone layer is playing in uh, what do you call it in protecting us from the ultraviolet rays then the production and emission of cfc cfc means what chlorofluorocarbon chlorofluorocarbons is by the far the leading cause then cfc is the stratosphere the chlorine the sorry there the chlorine atom is removed from the cfc and attracts one of three oxygen atoms in ozone mo- molecule the process continues and a single chlorine atom can destroy over 1 lakh molecules of ozone in 1984 ozone layer hole was discovered over antarctica so see now this particular layer whatever layer we guys have seen that particular layer has a hole because of things that we guys have done with the nature or with the atmosphere there is a hole for this layer and this is very dangerous and it has been you know uh, it has been discovered in 1984 it has been discovered that there is a hole for ozone layer and that has been discovered by the scientist in 1984 over antarctica there is and you i think you all are aware with antarctica so from that antarctica most of the scientists they have discovered that for that ozone layer which is protecting us from the uh, sun rays or ultraviolet rays that has a hole which is not good and it has been discovered by the scientist in 1984 now so this one is a monitorable protocol phase out the use of cfcs increase risk of skin cancer if we you know do not take care of ozone layer then definitely we may have skin cancer as i told you there is a possibility of having skin related issues or skin related diseases loss of uh, sorry loss of phytoplankton they are sensitive to ultraviolet fair people at higher risk those who are fair by the way those who are you know uh,
येतोय का आवाज माझा आवाज येतोय का माझा बोलांनो हो सर हो सर मध्ये कट झाला होता का रे हा ओके ते अचानक फोन आला आज मोबाईल वरून चालले ना सगळं एकच मिनिट एक अपन तुम्हें लॉग इन रहा मैं फिर बाहर पड़न मत मे तो प्लीज Can you hear me? Can yes, you sir. Hear me? Okay. yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Just wait. So I was talking about uh, the you know bad impact or the impact of uh, <clears throat> ozone layer or depletion in ozone layer. So fair people they have a problem. Fair people they are at higher risk. Their complexion get changed because of depletion in the higher risk. Then next one. consumerium and waste products that we are going to see now waste products means what that waste we are creating consumption of resources by people as we consume some different sort of resources so that is a part of uh, uh, discussion here and if we go for consumerium of and waste products and if we are consuming some resources so our consumption of resources should be limited and up to the mark there should not be excessive consumption of resources remember whatever resources we are really need go for those resources then earlier human needs were less so consumption was also less or so was consumption rate if you look at the you know Uh, if you go back to 10 or 20 years back and see your consumption of natural resources we had very less consumption of natural resources that we know but nowadays we as we guys are making improvement as we guys are making you know development it has you know forced us to consume more natural resources now changing lifestyles demand more as we to as i told you just now we people have changed our lifestyle and because of change in lifestyle we are consuming more resources look at the way we stay look at the uh, you know the cost of living we have and because of this you know uh, natural resources are uh, consumed and utilized population also an issue as we know that population is increase, increasing day by day and because of increase in population we need to consume more and more natural resources so population is the main culprit as we know that if we control our population then there is no problem as such of anything population is the main source main cause main culprit of everything which is happening on this planet earth remember the next one then environmental legislation uh, in india government has made so many legislations or legisl laws and acts for the protecting the environment we have so many acts we have so many acts for so many purposes for water pollution we have a different act for soil pollution we have a different act we have a, a, a different act for wildlife protection so many acts we have so some of them we have taken here india first country to have made provisions for environment protection in its constitution so india is the first country who has made necessary provisions for protection of environment and uh, no doubt india has made the provisions but people are not serious about the provisions which are made in the constitution and they believe in breaking the laws which is not good so after stock uh, home conference 1972 there was one conference which was held in uh, stock home that was in 1972 and after that uh, 1972 every nation got serious about the environment and they started taking care of the environment so many laws and rules have been made by the government so an examples i have given here and this one is just for the 
just for the sake of information that you guys have to remember and the last part that we are going to see here and the acts which are made by the government for the purpose of protecting the environment as i told you wildlife protection act is made in 1972 then water prevention and control of pollution act 1974 so these are the acts which are made by the government time to time for protecting the environment and protecting the atmosphere then forest conservation act 1980 air prevention and control of pollution act 1981 environment protection act 1986 the biomedical waste management and handling rules 1998 the municipal solid waste management and handling rules 2000 the noise pollution regulation and control amendment rules 2002 the biological diversity act 2002 so many acts are made still we guys are making some acts for the purpose of protecting the environment when it comes to number of acts we have so many acts the number of act is also different a huge the list of act is also huge but uh, there is a no need to make that there is a need to make certain changes in our uh, day to day life there is a need to make certain changes in our standard of life and the lifestyle also if we you know restrict ourselves to uh, to not to do something to not to do something then it's okay there is no need to have an act for uh, protecting the environment if we keep ourselves some restrictions definitely we will be able to protect the environment and it should start from our own and this is what uh, we should have to start from the our own family our own house then it is okay and then people will understand the importance of uh, uh, environment so this is a way that i have covered and i have tried my level best to cover <clears throat> social issues in the <clears throat> in the environment in a thorough manner i hope you guys have enjoyed the this particular topic in next lecture we are going to see another topic so be there for that session also and uh, in this session there was certain network issue so we lost i lost my connection for 2 minutes extremely sorry for that but it will not happen i hope it will not happen in next and another lecture so here we take a break and uh, i stop my presentation and i'll get back to my home screen uh, and uh, i would like to ask you to ask you a question if you have any question you can ask your questions do you have any question or not do you have any question or no question as such ahe ka prashna kon ala hello awaaz yete ka awaaz yete ko om om awaaz yete ho ho sir yete ho awaaz prashna hai ka kon ala prashna sil ka thambay cha ka apan थैंक यू वेरी मच बाय बाय लीव द मीटिंग